Hello again! So today's video is in celebration of Stationery Day. I figured I would just kind of talk about stationery and what I enjoy about it. Um, so I've actually been using my typewriter a lot. I've been trying to practice using it more and I received some helpful tips from Temporally Misplaced on Instagram and YouTube. I think his name is Steve. Um, he actually has the same Royal Royal Light typewriter as I do, and so he I, I sent him some samples of what my typewriter with the caps lock was doing, and he thinks that the alignment like it's an easy fix, and I have yet to try it because I cannot seem to find a seven millimeter wrench or plier small enough to fit in the um underneath the carriage um but i will eventually find a wrench or buy one or whatever in the right size and get it fixed and test it out and see if it will make um some you know an improvement but until then i can still use the lower caps and just kind of practice typing and you know just enjoying writing out letters and journal entries with my typewriter. I've also been looking at other typewriters because I do want to buy another one. <laughs> but of course, I'm just looking right now. Um, I've purchased a lot of stationery since being uh, home. I Stationery has been just such a huge comfort to me in general, and I've always just enjoyed writing and um, journaling and scrapbooking and planning. It's just always been something I've enjoyed and I've been doing a lot of letter writing so I've been writing a lot of letters to my mom and to my sisters and because it's just it's it's we didn't get to see each other as often as I'd like before this but now we can't even see each other in person at all so we've been talking more and um I've really enjoyed writing to them and having them write back to me and I scrapbook their letters in my journal and it's just it's a lot of fun and if you don't notice <laughs> while I'm typing my typewriter will move and pivot a little bit so you'll see me always bring it back so if you notice that that's me just like okay you moved now I need to bring you back over here I think I'm gonna buy um, a typewriter mat and hopefully that'll keep it from moving. I'm also touching the carriage more because I can't, I'm having trouble like aligning it perfectly when I go to the next line. So it's just something I hope will, you know, come more naturally um, when as I as I explore the typewriter more. But. Um, yeah, so I'm. There are a few things that are on my to buy list, like wish lists of stationary themed items that I will either purchase one day or, you know, as in like either for a special occasion or once stores can open up again, which, you know, no rush, of course, safety is important. Um, but I am th actually thinking of, like, I really kind of want to purchase a medic bag from Kaylin Leather. That is a little bit more on the pricier side, so I'm still kind of debating about it, but I want it in the brown color, and that color is not available right now. It's on my wish list, but I, I'm not certain exactly <laughs> if, if I will buy it, but I just love how beautiful it looks, and I, you know, I like the idea of getting it in brown. The other two products from Galen Leather that I've purchased are in the forest green, but I think if it's a bag that I'll be wearing, I'd rather have it in a brown leather. So that's just kind of something I've toyed with, the thought of purchasing. Um, another pen that's popped up on my wish list is the Sailor Fairy Tale pen. I think, I think that's, a, that's what it's called in, in the mint. Um, so, and that again is on the more pricier side, but Drongles has it at a discount, but it's still like $180, so that's still a, a wish purchase at this point. Um, 
pens aren't really at the top of my list. Um, and then going f- towards more towards journals, um, I've been wanting more another cover for an A6 size notebook. I do have an A6 notebook that I want to use. I've been using my Hobonichi and I really enjoy that size and I love the Hobonichi layout and the paper and um, I kind of want to have a an A6 notebook that I use and I do use an A6 for my ink catalog which I've enjoyed. Um, I've also been journaling in an A5 too so um, and then I wouldn't mind testing out a B6 slim. I wouldn't mind trying out that size too but I think right now my focus is on an A6 since I use the Hobonichi and I like the idea of having, you know, another cover for an A6 size notebook. So right currently, I'm looking at Cheek Sparrow, which I've never owned before. But there, I've been seeing this color, the Colonel Brand- Brandon? Colonel Brandon color? And it's like this olive, I think it's across, like there's a forest green kind of coloring for it, and then there's an olive green color for it. And I've been seeing a lot of videos of it and I really love that color and either one like whether it's an olivey green or a foresty green like I would love that so I'm kind of leaning towards that uh, I know Shakespeare is kind of is temporarily temporarily closed right now I hear it's a great company and the quality is really really nice um, but yeah I would really like to see this color and see the variation that I would get I think I would buy a folio with a elastic closure because I, I just want to use it for an A6 size notebook versus getting a traveler's notebook. Um, so that's also on the top of my list, kind of in like just thinking about buying kind of thing. I really like to window shop and kind of see what's around and figure out what what new thing I would like to try or new for me. Um, I use, I've been journaling in my traveler's notebook for the past three, four years now, and it's been a very nice, like, steady, and, like, even if I put it down and don't journal as much, like, I still always come back to it, and that is new for me. Um, I usually would kind of get bored with my journals and have to get a new one and test different paper, different styles, and then once I started using fountain pens, it got even I got even more picky, and so the Traveler's Notebook has been um, a journal system, a journaling system that I really enjoy using. But, so I know it'll always be there if I do get bored of the A6. I have been enjoying using the A5 as more of a scrapbooking kind of thing, and even though it's a larger notebook, I don't feel as though I have to use the entire space. Sometimes I will just write on the, since I have it in my Galen leather folio, primarily use the right hand side to journal and use the left hand side to decorate, paste something in. But on the screen right now, you see me, I pasted in the typed pages, some of the typed pages that I did during this typing session, and that was my journal entry. And then like here, I'm looking at other papers that I've typed up and I'm adding more to to this little memo sheet that I have right here, which worked out really nicely. Just a list of, um, I believe, video ideas. <laughs> so here I, I will just kind of collage and then I will write on the other side. And I really enjoy breaking up the space too. So I will do columns or I'll even turn the notebook um, around and then write columns the other direction and I think it just makes it really, really interesting. Um, I don't get the same effect when I try to do that in my traveler's notebook for some reason. And I think that's because the traveler's notebook is already so narrow. But I mean, obviously, there's no wrong or right way to write in a notebook. Um, which is really what I love about the like stationary YouTube community. That you get to see all these different versions of the same thing and no one it, no one journals the same way no one writes the same way um, handwriting is different too so you get to see how someone writes and how someone journals and what they choose to document and how they document it 
I mean, I just enjoy watching Journal With Me videos because you get to witness that and I could just watch those kind of videos or any type of stationary video all the time. It's a lot of fun and they're my favorite videos to make as well. I love sharing the different things that I'm interested in and the supplies that I'm loving and I love seeing what other people are using. And this is the part where I noticed that like how few pages I have left in this A5 notebook so I'm excited to start the next one. I love this folio so much. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this rather long chatty video discussing stationery. Um, and I hope you're doing well, and I will see you in the next video.